What have they made here? What the hell is this? Yo, what is up everyone? Scammer Vaults here bringing you guys another banger of a scam bait video. But before this video starts, I just want to shout out my Twitch because that's where all of this was streamed live. So twitch.tv slash scammer vaults. It's always in the link in the description below. But other than that, I'm gonna let y'all get straight into this one. See you guys in the next one. Peace. Okay, now can you see anything on your screen now? What I want you to do is I want to just minimize the any desk app. What you can see okay. on your screen. All right. Now just give me a quick moment. Let me go ahead and run a security check on your computer screen. And we'll let you know what's the problem going on, okay? Okay. What is the security right, just check? Just give me a quick moment. What does that mean? Just, so as I told you that there's a hacking attempt on your network, right? Yeah. Oh, is this going to get rid of all that? Yes, sir. Oh, please, if you can. I'll guide you step by step. Yes, please. I'll guide you step by step what we need to do is, okay? Okay. What do I need to do? Well, just give me a quick moment. Sure. All right, just give me a quick moment, sir. So what you guys are seeing right now is me accessing the scammers files and I'm going through and downloading any files that I think will be like useful, you know, for getting information on this guy, contacting victims and such and things like that. And then what, why did I say it like that? Each we're getting each and everything off this guy's computer. There you go. There you go. <laughs> And then after I get everything, we're going to go ahead and totally delete everything. And another thing I want to know at the beginning, since we're at the beginning of the video here, is that these guys called me out of nowhere. So I didn't even call these guys. They cold called me out of nowhere. And that's how we got started with this call. So big thumbs up for the scammers being complete and utter idiots and literally just going and calling a scam baiter. Key and the letter R, you need to press them together, okay? How do I do that again? The Windows key, look at your keyboard, that will be the Windows key, the four flag key. You need to press okay. and hold that key along with the letter R together. Oh, hold it? Press, yeah, press and hold it. Yeah, oh, very good. Okay. Oh, something in just C changed on the screen. Yes, over there you need to type in C as in Charlie. C. M as in Mary. Um, A M. And D as in, and D as in Delta. D. Okay. Yeah, now hit on okay. Um, you said press okay. Yes, press okay. okay. All right. All right. Now you'll be able to see a black box over there, right? So as you guys just saw there, files getting totally obliterated. But as you can see on the screen right now, I, I want to take a look at this scammer specs, man. So he has a, a Core i5, what is this, a, a, a 6200U CPU, 2.3 gigahertz, two cores. He's got the HD graphics, the eight gigs of RAM. So I was like, you know what, man, let's go and see what laptop this actually is. And da 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 da, you know, what? My newest game show. How shitty is this scammer's laptop? Well, boom, here it is. It's a Lenovo ThinkPad T460. Now this image I got is actually of a nicer one, has a slightly better CPU. It has 16 gigs of RAM instead of eight, 256 gig SSD. But yeah, this, this kind of sucks because ThinkPads are actually cool and it, it kind of sucks that this guy sitting in India scamming people is using it. It makes me a little bit sad, you know? This one right here, you know, you can get it for $109 USD and this guy's going out here and stealing people's life savings and all sorts of things and putting them into just horrible conditions with a $109 laptop. Well, even cheaper because this one's actually better than his. So yeah. <laughs> So yeah, after this little part of the video here, I actually go and I start mass uploading a ton of crap to his computer because he he is just a freaking Ben Chode and this is what he gets, man. Doge here, doge there, doge everywhere, man. Just for this special guy. And I, I want you to look at the screen on this part and just really, really see what this guy's doing. Because if you guys saw in the other clip, he was having me press the Windows and R button to have me open CMD. And, and I just want you guys to see what he has to do on his screen after the fact that he does that keep in mind that this guy scams people all day so he should have this stuff memorized you, you can probably see where i'm going here but i i just want you guys to see this this elite pro scammer that is from microsoft and knows everything about computers here's what he has to do 
All right. What can you see over there? You can see local address, foreign address, and state over there. Oh, I see all three of those. And something saying Proto. Something saying Proto Sorry? also. Proto. Proto, local address, so local address foreign local address, address, and yes, local state. Address. Yeah. Local address is your address, okay? My address? Okay. That's get you connected to the internet on your devices, okay? Okay. So I'll that's like my the internet that I pay for? Yes, yes. Okay. I'll just give you a quick moment, okay? Let me go ahead and explain you each and everything about this. Please, if you can. I'm totally lost here. All right. Now, can you see anything in the foreign address? What can you see in your foreign address? Is there anything in the foreign address? Yeah, there's foreign a whole list of stuff. There, always there, supposed to be empty. Empty? empty? Okay, let me explain. Yes, it should be empty. Oh my gosh. Okay. What does that mean if it's not empty? Okay, now, the foreign address, it means that somebody might try to control your computer from anywhere else. Currently, we don't know from where they're trying to do it. And another column, can you see it's written state, right? Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, you guys are seeing that, right? As he has me pull up the CMD and stuff on his screen, he goes and pulls up a bunch of notes that he has written down so he can reiterate to me what he has written on the notes and be like, oh yeah, this is exactly what's happening to your computer right here. Oh my gosh, how, how, how do you do this? Like every day you're sitting around and scamming people and you can't even remember the fake bull crap that you have to say. Like, holy crap, the, the, the amount of stupidity that comes out of the scammer's mouth and then the fact that he can't even remember the stupid crap that comes out of his mouth is just utterly hilarious. So what you guys are about to see is when he starts noticing there's um a, a little bit of a problem on his desktop here. So yeah, here we go, here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, if you could help me. I think I think I'm getting attacked by the Doge virus, sir. Hello? 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 <laughs> Is he gone? <laughs> did he just did he just close the laptop? Did he just close it? It's just a black screen. Hello, sir? And then boom, the screen goes totally black. So I think what he what he did there was probably went and pulled the battery or something. I don't think you can pull the battery on this laptop. So he might have just closed the lid. <laughs> it was like I'm done or held the power button on the on the keyboard. One of those two things there. Um, so what you guys are about to see is me calling him back or trying to call him back, and then we of course go over some of the files that I got off of this scammer's computer and. Also, if you made it to this point of the video, comment RIP scammer and I'll go through and I'll drop a heart on a bunch of your guys' comments. All right, let's play another game of guess the scammer location, guys. Get your guesses in chat while I'm calling back. Round two of guessing the scammer's location. Yo, Kimmy with the hundred bits. Thank you, man. The party you are trying to reach oh, is unavailable. Fuck. Please leave a message and someone will return your call as soon as possible. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Benjord. I am stuck in Ludhiana with your laptop. I am trying to get the supporting, but... You just, I'm, I need help. I am looking at my computer in Ludhiana, India, and it is just showing that there is a bunch of doges. I am looking at all these doges and dogs, and they are just staring at me, and they're going, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? So I'm asking you, please, I need your support team. 
Can you do the supporting? I need the, the, the supporting. Now I am stuck in a cave too. I don't even know. I don't even know. I am like, I am stuck. What, what do I do, Mr. Chod? Mr. Chod, please, please help me. <laughs> Let me call from a different number. Did I think, did they only, because he had the call software open on that laptop. Did they only have one laptop behind this phone number? Did I just, <laughs> did we just shut down their little operation? The party you are trying to reach is unavailable. It's, Please leave down. a message and someone will return your call as soon as possible. Thank you. Hello, I am still, I am stuck in a cave and now you're not picking up your phone calls. I have all your files here. I will give you 29 rupees if you pick up my phone call. 29 rupees, please, please do it. I am so tired and scared in this cave and I keep, I keep hearing something like off in the background and it's just making... Did you hear that? I heard it again, I swear I'm not going crazy. Oh no! Oh no! Let's <laughs> leave the voice mod that. Official support? What the fuck? Oh. My. Gosh. What have they made here? What the hell is this? What? What the fuck is this? Is this like their fake? What is this? <laughs> and it's like broken. Oh my gosh. Downloading secure firewall? And they have the fucking CIA or what? Wait, is this SCP? Secure, contain, protect. Is this the SCP Foundation? <laughs> is this the are they using an SCP Foundation website to pretend that it's Microsoft Oh my fucking shit dude You What is this? Oh my gosh Oh my fucking shit dude Somebody clip this. What the fuck is this, man? What the fuck is this? Data backup in progress and it just loops. Secure firewall and it says downloading secure firewall. Do not reboot. <laughs> is this the fucking Benchode SCP? Number 5621 or something. What the fuck is this, dude? Oh my gosh. That's amazing. That's crazy. Helpline firewall dot online. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't really know what to say here other than like, that's, that's... <laughs> that's gotta be something. That, that's gotta be... That, it's, it's hilarious. It's like, what is this? Uh, uh, so SCP Foundation website, they changed the top to Microsoft Corp to try and make it look legit. And I guess they're passing off this website to scam victims to try and be like, oh, yeah, here's our secure Microsoft website. I don't even know what to say, man. <laughs> oh, man. But uh, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to leave the video off here with um, two recordings that I also got off of this scammers computer here of people who are calling these scammers out and just not getting fooled by their crap. One, because they're just super suspicious. And another one, as you'll see, because this guy is just so annoyed of how this Indian scammer talks and how they just 
repeat the same thing over and over again, trying to make themselves seem legit. So yeah, I, I really hope you guys enjoy these clips and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. So if you made it to this point, consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you haven't liked the video, go ahead and drop a like, but yeah, let's, let's get into these calls here. Somebody calling them out. Listen, I'll play it for you guys. Sure. The big quiet. Can you explain that to me, ma'am? I'm sorry? M-E-S-C-H-I-O. Listen. Okay. And also, do you have, like, information so I know you're from Windows and this isn't, like, a phishing scam? No, 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 ma'am. This is not a phishing scam, ma'am. I mean, you have called me, right? Yeah, but how do I know this pop-up is not <laughs> fishing, you know? Yeah, they can tell you right now, ma'am. So, this like, do microphone. you have, like, a Windows email? Like, what is your Windows ID? Like, what information can I get? Yes, you can note down my name, okay? Just grab a pen and piece of paper handy. You can note down my name and my employee ID as well. Hold on. I'm actually going to call our ID guy. Thank you. <laughs> Nice. She said, she said, hold on, I'm actually going to call the IT guy and hangs up on him. You know, it's funny. He says the same. They always say the same shit. Well, you're the one that called me. Well, no shit. They fucking called you. You're putting a fake pop up on their screen, jackass. So this is, I don't think it's the full call. But you can hear the guy yelling at the scammer. Hold on. So sorry, at the same time, let me ask you something. Have you ever asked of now what you can do? Is that mm -hmm. Yeah, but like, is the reason okay. why I'm saying it's that still. because we, there there can be a lot of suspicious things which can be going on due to this hacking. Your information has this been is already from the installed as you have uh, as you already seen it. So as this is a protected device, if you are seeing any excuse, kind of excuse, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Okay. You guys are sitting and talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and you don't come up with a solution. Come on with a solution. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I am giving you the solution slowly. I'm sorry all you want to, but you see one thing. That is ridiculous because you see one thing. I don't want to open up my bank account. I don't even know you from a hole in the wall, okay? Sir, you are the only person who is having a hold on your account and your computer. I am not able to view or see anything which you are doing. Okay, okay, okay. Forget it. Forget the whole thing. I don't want to hear, hear any more from that. Okay. And uh, if anything, either you can help me or you can't. Sir, because you the are victim is dipping out of the car. Mm -hmm. Oh. And there is the same same thing every time somebody gonna help on the computer all that they go forever and ever. Mm -hmm. And and it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. If you are capable of doing it, do it. If you don't, I can shut down and take it someplace else. So the I, I don't even think the victim realized that it was a scam, but he was just so annoyed with how the fucking scammer was just. Re because they fucking repeat themselves over and fucking over again. <laughs> and I think the victim was just fucking, he was just pissed. He was like, man, you just fucking talk out of your ass. Over and over again, dude. <laughs> the stupid ass scammer being fucking annoying cost him the call. That's fucking hilarious, man.